So hi again, Soul Risers. As I promised, I wanted to make a more exclusive video paying my tribute to one of my favorite um, New World authors and New World leaders called Michael Barnard Beckwith. How many of you have heard of him? So Michael Barnard Beckwith, as I just stated, is a New World leader and an author of this book called Life Wish. And it's a beautiful book. I do not get paid for advocating for it. Whatever I'm saying about this book can come straight from my heart. So you can, hopefully you'll trust me with it. Um, so Michael Bernard Beckwith talks about this process, this concept called life visioning. What is life visioning? It's basically a little, it's not the same as, an, as visualization where, you know, you go into the future, think of the best case scenario, and then work your present self towards it. It's while, while envisioning your future and visualization is a very powerful tool, um, life visioning is also equally powerful and a little different. It's about diving within. It's about diving within your system and really assessing what's going on there and thinking about what is trying to emerge in your life. So let's say something bad happened or you're feeling terrible all the time. So instead of sitting and mulling about it, what you could do is ask empowering questions. So one of the things that Michael Bernard Beckwith says in this book is to ask empowering questions. So instead of saying things that would put you in a disempowering mode, which is your victim, victim stage, which is where you say, why me? It's like the most disempowering question you could ever ask yourself. So make sure you steer away from saying, why me? And more about what is trying to emerge in my life. And what is the universe trying to teach me here? And maybe I have something bigger and beautiful coming into my life through this experience. And so ask yourself these questions. And ask yourself questions like, how, how can I be of more service to to this crappy situation that just took place, or things that things that make you feel that you are in a better place. You're not the victim of the world, but you are um, sort of the winner, the, the triumphant one, the victim of the world. And so Michael Bernard Beckwith talks about this process um, called my visioning, as I just explained to you. I highly recommend checking this book out. Of course, there are so many ways of um, getting like getting access to this book. I'm sure you'll find a free copy online somewhere. Um, and maybe I can like find ways to get you that, but I don't want to get into like problems. So we'll just stick to the, the proper way of doing things. Um, so ch do check out this page, okay? It's page 37 of this book, it talks about the four stages of evolutionary growth, or the four stages of consciousness, okay? He talks about the first stage, which is victim consciousness, okay? That's the stage where you feel that life isn't in your hands, that everyone else is doing stuff to you, and you're not the creator of your life. By the way, it's the most sucky place to be in, so please, if you ever feel like you're in that place, please do your best to get out of it as soon as possible um, in the best way possible. The best way to do is, is something they call in psychology and cognitive behavior therapy. It's called behavior activation. Get out of the house and do something that would just activate your system differently in more healthier ways. Um, like going to a park or, or um, you know, maybe eating something you, you love and desire or hanging out with your friends or watching a movie. Maybe a movie that's not tragic, but a, but one that uplifts you. So stage one is victim consciousness. Stage two is manifest consciousness. Manifest consciousness is the stage where you're sort of more in control of your life, and you know sort of you are the creator of your life. And this is when you are sort of opening yourself up to receiving. And this is when, like, beautiful synchronicities and coincidences start to happen and you, you see it for yourself. Um, the third stage is channel consciousness and this is a bit more advanced. It's for people 
who are a bit more intuitive, I guess, and we all can get there, but it takes more practice, more clearing of the mind and body, more discipline. And so the third stage is channel consciousness. And it's about being a vehicle for something bigger than yourself to manifest through you. And so uh, that's the third stage, and that's a stage that's not unachievable, but it's something that you can also achieve through meditation. You know, when you receive all these ideas and thoughts and responses, it's like you've become a channel to something that is original, something that's unique, and something that uh, helps you strive forward um, in, in ways that are different from most other people. Um, and so the last stage is called being consciousness, and this is sort of like the stage which monks reach, or, um, you know, like, very, very spiritual leaders reach the stage where they're sort of like in a state of all feeling of oneness and awareness and you're one with, with life and nature and the universe and it's a beautiful feeling to feel and I'm sure that even if you are not a monk, you will have instances in your life where you do have, you know, experiences of this feeling and so um, it's, it's a great book read to it, he shows you how, he, he elaborates on these four stages and he shows you how to acquire or experience these four stages in your own life. And so I highly recommend it. So before I leave, um, so this is the book, Michael Bernard Becker, awesome, awesome guy. Um, and this is definitely a tribute to him. So um, before I leave, I do want to leave you with this last beautiful word that I heard from one of two of most inspiring people I know here on YouTube itself. They are Stefan and Tatiana James. Um, I was super inspired by both of them um, and they are sort of entrepreneurs but also very inspiring folks on their own and they have a lot of videos on YouTube. Um, again, I'm talking about them from my heart, not at all like marketing for anyone here. Um, but something that Stefan said in one of his videos that really stuck with me is the fact that, you know, who you are is a gift from God to you. But who you become is a gift from you to God. So make sure you become something that's beautiful and something to which something beautiful expresses itself. So I leave you with that, Soul Risers, and I wish you all the best to this life journey. Take care. Bye.